division into two, professional and social. If you notice on the social side it's going on and on and on the professional side it's narrowing down. Okay? Like child, friend, student and then I become an adult, then a spouse, then a father, then a son and a grandfather. But when I'm a grandfather I'm still a son, still a friend, still a brother, still a husband and all that. And that side you only become the senior, senior, senior and you retire. So there's one place at the top. Now why is the chart divided into two? If you remember I told morning when I was introducing me, I said, I am proud to be my wife's husband. I am proud to be my daughter's father. Because without that, my identity is not complete, neither without this. So we need to acknowledge. Why are we insisting? Maybe your generation is now getting trained into this, but our generation, this wasn't there. It was always considered as only, the profession was the only identity of the individual. So the realization later that both com combination of social and personal relationship because why do we work? For stomach and for family after all. So therefore if family does not exist, so how do we? Happiness cannot come in. So if a man is not happy, man or woman not happy at home, cannot give his or her best to the office. This is a concept that each one of us will have to understand this. That is why in most of the companies you will notice they have social gatherings of family members. Big companies have started doing it. Social gathering, they invite the wives and the children. There are separate, uh, you see like NTPC or HPCL, IBP. They all have children's programs in summer, in Diwali vacation. Ladies' programs. And our institute is conducting all this, basically, even for them. So that means the management is realizing that there has to be harmonious relationship. So if my wife is happy, my child is happy, so obviously, I will belong to the company. This is, means the sense of belonging. Now one thing we have to understand, in this area, it is essentially emotion. And that area is not essentially emotional. That is why, you will notice from friend it becomes colleague. Colleagues are not necessarily friends. Okay? And when we start working, why we don't, why colleagues are not necessarily friends? Because it's company. As a child, that competition is very emotional competition. But when we uh, grow up, it is essentially a from commercial competition. So therefore, there is no friendship as such. Very rarely we have noticed that colleagues have become best of friends. Now, because there is lack of emotion there and there is a lot of emotion here, but I suggest we people have been realizing also that we must bring the home to the office, but not vice versa. So never take your office home. What I mean by home to the office is not your members of your family, <laughs> but the warmth. The way we talk to our people, the way we try to understand people at home, we must understand the office colleagues, subordinates. For some of the companies that was recently going to, it was so amazing that you know in corporate trade we never have more than 20 people. That's normally the norm, not more than 80 to 20 people at a time. It was so surprising that I took the training one day, I knew about those 18 people much more than those people who have been working for 7 years together. Some of them didn't even know the surname of the other or the first name. They did not know whether they were married or not. They did not know where do they stay. And I think it's a very sad state because say out of 24 hours we are almost working 12 hours to four hours together. Okay? That means 300 days we are working for so many hours and we don't know each other. We don't know anything other than the name and the qualification of the designation. I think that that's the saddest moment that I'm unable to share. And whereas I knew about them because by during training I got introduced. Got to know. Somebody looks at me and says, what happens? You're not feeling well? No. I said, why? There's nobody at home. You can make out. You know, somebody is a bachelor, you can actually make out. I mean, at least people of our can make out that who is a bachelor, who is cooking his own food and Okay, that, these are the things that we can come to. So, there what was happening? They were not bringing the warmth, warmth to the office. And it's very important therefore to try to understand the relationship. But never bring this here. Do not act as an executive 
in your house because ghar pe you are either a father mother brother sister husband that's a totally different relationship and evolved like that we have cases this is again uh, for you because i hope none of you become like this i have this counseling uh, man uh, marketing manager of one company from nari where i take my offices his wife is a director in another company you know the first question he comes is i came for counseling sir i want to talk to my wife how do i now you tell me a husband wants to talk to his what i can do about it so i told him why don't you divorce He said, "What do you mean, divorce? I came to, uh, I mean, consult you. I said there is nothing left of your marriage." He says, "No, but she is a director of a company." I said, "That's exactly. You are perceiving her more as a director, and your wife is perceiving you more as a manager. Where is the husband-wife is lost in between? मेरे बीवी को मैं मेरे बाहों में रुका नहीं बोला नहीं नहीं कुछ भी क्या दूसरे कुछ नहीं करते हैं? I cannot understand this. But we take our positions." Very, very serious. Some of you are likely to do. In spite of me telling all this, you are likely to do. You take the position so damn seriously. Ah, marketing manager. You are like, but ah, hey, my bajoo, my patijoo, hey, na, marketing manager, na. I have to say it. Ah, what relation? So it's very important that you understand your situation at home. Do not mix the two issues. There is another aspect of it, which is very, very. Similar to a family life, but since we are on management, we have always to talk on management concept. No? But I am going to talk about that. I look at it that every person who joins an office is essentially a new bride. See, when a girl gets married, she comes to the in-laws' house. What does she do? She tries to understand her husband, her father-in-law, mother-in-law, all the members of the in-laws' family, and adjust accordingly. Oh, he said. Level of concern, you can reach everybody. Others cannot all collectively reach you. So we try to understand the culture of this, right? And then see to it that the bohu is accepted. She thinks that she is accepted, and then her own individual elements. Then she adds. When does she add? How is it seen? Can anybody tell me? How is a daughter-in-law who gets married today? Subsequently, in few years, how her individual elements are seen in the family? Tell me. She stands up there, yes, when she as a mother, why? Because if she is married, say she was a Joshi married to a Kulkarni. Okay, now when she gets married to the Kulkarni family, so she starts adjusting. So she imbibes the discipline, culture, tradition of Kulkarni family. But when the children are growing up, remember she was an individual and she was a Joshi first. So she also has Joshi tradition, Joshi culture. That within her, so the child is becoming Kulkarni Kham Joshi. Both elements, all of us, हमारे सब को मामा का घर का कुछ है, and पिताजी का घर का कुछ है. That is the individual element, and the same ordinary funda is for corporate. The moment you join a company, what you have to do? First, understand the company culture. Each company is different. For instance, Reliance believes in almost 14 hours work. And if you join Reliance, you You have to go with that mindset that you can't stumbling me. I saw a song. I am being paid for eight hours. I can maximum sit for ten hours. I have to have that. So you have to adjust the culture accordingly, and then slowly, when you are being accepted, then start adding your elements. That is where comes the individualistic streak of a manager. That here you assert your qualities. It is exactly equivalent to. So when you come there, accept the culture first. Do not try to assert yourself right in the beginning. And another thing you need to know is, we are supposed to be. I, I believe in my code book. I have mentioned that managers are supposed to be democratically autocratic. You understand that? Yes. That is, manager has to be decisive. If you are not decisive, you cannot be. But then you have to be seen as. Democracy that you are taking it. Just like when you rise higher, you need to be very impartial. But you know it is more important to be seen as impartial because now, now I am your faculty. Now, if say from the morning, if I keep on only looking at him and talking, you will feel obviously neglected. So 
I have to keep on very, very looking at each and every person. That is, I should not look partially. Very important to be seen. So one has to make an effort. What is it that I told you to remind me in the morning? Who remember? Ah, okay. This is here in the corporate. How to say no? You know, it's to say no means priorities. You have to choose your priorities at your age. I'm referring to him. Just a case yesterday. He was chief administrator, and there are innumerable people working under him, and all. Some of them are at least 20 years older to me and they are highly qualified people. They are not ordinary people because he is in the central administration. Next to me he is. I mean everybody contacts and nobody contacts me. I get to know everything only from him. I don't know otherwise. Okay. Very few. Along with him there are four more people that find me in council. Okay. They are in touch with me. Others there is nobody but principally he. Now what basically happens is now, so many people are going to tell you so many things to do. What you have to choose your priority. You have to see which is the first thing that urgency of the work is the first thing. To say no, no, that is not saying no. When I say how to say no, we all know to say no. But when to say and why to say, that is what we have to understand. And that means you have to know the urgency of the work, the priority of the work. Now if I have to do this particular work now and if it is not done there, then the fallouts will be very risky or dangerous. So therefore that becomes obviously a priority. The other things could be, but pressure me as a man, like he is tremendously under the pressure. From, from all corners, like you a little thing, ours, you have heard that ours is so many activities we have, performing arts, extracurricular activities, faculties, now we are having some in December, some six to eight hundred students are going to appear for the under exams. So it's not a joke when six hundred people are going to appear because written separate practical means it's going to go on for ten days. Okay, because examiner will spend for each child artist for about half an hour. But that apart in the month of December we'll have twenty five thousand children competition. That apart our management training. Okay, then like times music is one thing, our fees and cases, how to do Display. All every uh, newspaper is having our articles, so that is being looked after by somebody or the uh, uh, Nehru Center program. So there are so many things, and everybody is relating to him. So, basically, what happened? I will give you an example because he is only 26. So, I cannot expect him to be what I could perceive, obviously, with experience. One will learn. Now, yesterday, when we were working, I, I came back to the office after a venture. And these people, I think the fact that we should all assembled because they were supposed to go through these six, eight, seven hundred application forms, scrutinize them, you know how it is to submit it to the university with the necessary previous examination certificates to be attached, photographs, I can use, signature, I can use, fees, whatever, I can so many things that needs to be recorded. Now they came simultaneously, I think times we called them up and said, we need this series instantly. Simultaneously, from Delhi, they called up. I was sharing with Tamanna Madam that uh, from Delhi, the Petroleum Minister called up that on the Hindi Divas, we wanted Dr. Guga to come. He could he spare 45 minutes for a lecture to the secretaries of different ministries. And uh, uh, therefore, my CV, other things had to go to Delhi. Now, everything came at the same time. Now, say he called everybody at 4 o'clock. What is his priority tell me? You tell me. One is, I'm asking the question. One is, the last day of examination or examination form is coming in is the 1st of August. That's one. And yesterday was 29th. September we have Hindi Divas with the central government. For that they need the information. Times Music wants all these things by next week. Which is the top priority? <laughs> right? Now what since he was bombarded within 15 minutes, so many calls, and out of goodwill, he said, we'll send it to you tomorrow, we'll send it to you tomorrow, we'll send it to you tomorrow. Now it was already past 4. The courier chap will come by 6. Now that by that time, if he has to prepare 6, six series, so transfer 6 series, prepare the letters, 
He may be having assistance, but he has to check. Because there are so many series, that means you have to view these series. You know, but which part has to go? Every part cannot go. If a CD that is going to go to time music, what kind of dances they wanted? They wanted classic games or they wanted folk or they wanted western or they wanted film, you don't know. In certain series, there are mixed, so that means you have to isolate. So that requires a lot of time, right? Similarly, what you have to send to Delhi also requires time. Delhi can wait because it is in September, doesn't matter if it goes on Monday. Similarly, even, but poor thing, he started doing this, doing this, and in the process, this five years, people are waiting, and I landed. So I said, what happened? There's no, sir, Girish sir is inside, he is. So I called him. I don't want, no, sir, this one, sir. I said, no. Where is the, why did you, first of all, promise? Why did you tell them? Because I care too much for you, I love you a lot. I cannot see you stressed like this. Every day if the man is working till night, and coming every day at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock, how long can it be? Won't the efficiency come down? It has to, because our body cannot take more. Mentally we cannot take more. So I told him you have to learn to say no with that. You, you have to tell them, I cannot give it to you. I give it to you day after tomorrow. Then what happened is, I called up. Because now the commitment was made. So when I call up, no sir, that's absolutely already it can come on Monday. So, if you say it, then you say it. When you say it, then you say it. What is the error of not prioritizing? You see, because, and here, what is the other fallout? There are six people that you call, and if you are making them wait for three hours, aren't you creating irritation in them? And I'm spoiling my personal relationship. Officially, interpersonal relationship is getting spoiled. So next time you call, then they will come late. They will not come at 4 o'clock. They will say, kya fayda, 4 baje jane se hi bata, kapan 5 baje jate. So therefore the discipline of the company also goes. Okay? So here, when I say how to say no means, I have to prioritize what I should be able to do now. Is it that important to do right now? If it can be postponed, not harming. So therefore, whenever you are going to take up a work, also see the following few days, it, if it can be spread, because we need to be relaxed, okay? Now, I'm shifting into time management, these are all very quick things, because these are papers which takes two days, three days, but so, and I'll just point out. It is essentially a mental discipline, that's why we say systematic strategy of common sense strategies. So it is, if you're mentally Willing to be disciplined, then only time management can come in, otherwise time management doesn't come in. So there is no point me making a lot of, time management sounds a big funder, but what is time management of time? Simple. The 24 hours, 20 hours, I will do this, 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 that's it. So I am supposed to be. That's as simple as a time management thing. But only thing is, we like to use big words, think big, and therefore do nothing. So come down to the ordinary things and to do that, therefore, what are the points, some of the points I'm giving you. One thing in time management is your target, that is goal setting. But before that, you need to know yourself. What are your priorities? Without knowing that, you can never have time management. So the number one is goal setting. So you get target. As I said, when you say goal setting, that is what I have to achieve. But after that, you have is prime time. What is prime time? The first thing to be done, and the key time that is, the most important time. On the personal side in the morning, there's so it's prime time and sequence. What do you do when you get up in the morning? Brush? Yeah. Then potty? <laughs> then bath? Dressing up? But kabhi kabhi prime time ulta ho jata, brush ke pehle potty ho jata. <laughs> so prime time also changes. That's why. And we have to understand this. I'm purposely talking these light things because we have a tendency to look at everything very teriyakarthi and which we don't understand anything. So it is better to accept straight facts and that's it and adopt it. Okay? Then planning, listing, priorities and time slot. What is listing? Do any of you list? Is there anybody who's got the habit of listing? You must always carry a paper and a pen with you. Any thoughts also come this time? You will notice that you are becoming a better manager. Uh, did you see that I, I have a pouch with me? 
Okay? In that thought, I always have a paper and pen. Even when I am traveling, by air or wherever, any thoughts come that I have to speak to my wife and daughter also right now. Because see, when I come, I come for very few days, very few moments I am at home. Suppose if I forget to speak those important things, there could be a lot of garbage at home also. And this, I mean, it's my life, so I have to attune myself to my requirements, right? What may be alright for you may not be alright for me, what may be alright for you may not be alright for you. Because your life still is different, my lifestyle is different. So as per your need, you have to. So listing is a very old times. The ladies are saying, guard band de the. Usko dekhungi to yaad aayega, lekin usko dekhne ko bhul jati thi. So you may prepare a list, but you need to refer the list. List means just anything that is coming, jot down, and as soon as you have done it, tick mark that I have already addressed that. I'm teaching all of them this kind of things. I said everywhere. Keep in because specifically when we have to do multiple things. Today's Ajke need is no longer master of one. Today's need is be jack of all trades and be master of one. When we are young, we are saying never become a jack of all trades, be a master of one. About two years back, Asian Age wrote an article on me and he think they had actually given the title as Dr. Guha believes be jack of all trades and master of one. That was the title. It's also most of us more than a half page article. But that's so important today that we have to have this attitude of to, able to do too many things but to able to do too many things we have to have priority as well as time slot that within this time frame I should be able to finish that particular work. Then delegation of work. Share your work all right but give the job to the right person. Give it to a wrong person and then keep screaming that doesn't help. Check on. And the deadline you have to again have that within this work as I said the time frame has to be there. They just know if you are saying, I am running against the deadline, I am going to do the job, I am going to do the job, so that's what it is. Then use of waiting and travelling time. Why are we mostly late? That is of course, our people in the nature of this subject, we have to reach the late point, but we have to see that there is a commuting time, we never calculate that normally. And therefore get stuck in the traffic or anywhere else. Then communication, as I said, if you are effectively communicating, then obviously you are saving time. Because what I said, if that person doesn't understand, then that doesn't work. Then creating more time, getting up early and dropping unnecessary tasks, these are the other things. You should not only do more work, but have a well-timed work. And 24 hours is a long, long time. The more work we do, the more time we have. 